Harrison. You can't. Everyone close to you dies. That's why we're here. Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to talk about the ending of Dexter New Blood. But real quick, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Use their all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business at Squarespace. So how should Dexter New Blood end? The original series that aired between 2006 and 2013 for eight seasons is remembered fondly for a lot of things. But having a critically acclaimed or even satisfying finale isn't one of them. And that's not just my opinion. The original showrunner Clyde Phillips, who left after season 4 but has returned for New Blood, and Dexter himself, Michael C. Hall, have expressed that part of the reason they wanted to come back and do the revival was because the original ending was disappointing. But in this video, we're not talking about how it could have ended differently in the past or what's wrong with the original ending. What I want to look at here is how this limited event series should end. What would be the most satisfying? What would make the most sense? And then at the gut level, how do you want it to end? So I'll be talking about what I think the most likely ending is out of the different options, what makes the most sense to me. And as far as spoilers, I'm not going to get into too many of the details. I am making this after episode episode 6 of New Blood came out, but I'll be talking about the ending generally rather than getting really deep into the specifics of what happened in this season. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. So I'll say up front, what I would like to see is a conclusive ending for the character. Clyde Phillips has said in interviews that this is going to be a big ending that's going to break the internet, which, I mean, that is his job is to hype things up. I still try to temper my expectations about endings, but he says that he believes the finale is the best thing he's ever written and that it's going to be surprising, inevitable, and it's going to blow up the internet. That last part would seem to make a happy ending where Dexter gets the life he always wanted somewhat unlikely. So I won't be spending too much time talking about that one. And I guess there's a couple of things that we have to throw out there. As I mentioned, he left the show after season four and was critical about the ending of season eight when it came out. He actually shared what his idea that he never pitched would have been if he would have finished the series, saying that his personal ending for the show was that he was going to be executed for his crimes. He's laying on the table and outside the window are all the people he's killed. So basically the last scene would have been Dexter facing his demise and all the characters that had been introduced in the show that he had killed or he had been close to, they'd all be there looking on. I think that probably would have been less divisive than what did happen, but this idea has been out there for eight years and most people have heard it even if they're not diehard fans, so it seems pretty unlikely that they would go ahead and make that the ending and that he would still be publicly talking about how that was his idea back then. And just real quick, in case you forgot about what happened at the end of the original run, Dexter fakes his own death after he took his sister Deb off life support, ending her life, and she was on it because of a decision he made. He decided to abandon his son and leave him with Hannah, who was also a killer, who he had grown close to because he was able to be himself around her. She knew he was a serial killer and accepted him how he was. He chose a self-imposed exile because I guess he figured that everyone close to him eventually died, so they were better off if if he wasn't around. Considering the response to that, I think it's safe to say they shouldn't go in that direction again. So how could it end then? Well, if it's to be a conclusion, then he could get caught. He's already killed a couple of people in Iron Lake, and that would be enough to put him away for a long time. But even though he'd been hiding out and laying low before that, there are possibilities for him being exposed as the Bay Harbor Butcher as well. There might be relief in that for Dexter. He wouldn't have to pretend to be something that he's not anymore. And it would clear Dokes' name. As far as his relationship to his son, it might make sense of why he did some of the things he did, the abandonment and the not being able to connect. But I'm not sure that a relationship between them exists after the fact and their inability to make that work has been a big part of what New Blood is about. 
Although Angela and her newfound connection to Miami or Molly and her familiarity with the cases there and her suspicion about Dokes not really being the killer, those two are both in a position where they could figure out his secrets. If it came down to it, I think Angela would turn him in. I don't see a big exciting ending that involves her deciding to stay with him and not expose the truth if she figured it out. The only way it might feel twisty or crazy though would be if he happened to confess to Harrison in confidence, trying to help him out with his own situation, only for him to betray that and turn him in. I guess if you really like the character and you don't want him to die, then this is probably the preferred ending, but I think it's the least satisfying out of all the ones that make sense. And I'll get into the other options after this quick mention of today's sponsor, Squarespace. Recently, I wanted to put together a website and I found Squarespace to be really user friendly. It was simple to jump right in and start to create a website or you could put together an online store with marketing tools and analytics built in. For what I was looking to do, the video blocks were great. Just paste the URL and upload a custom thumbnail. And I appreciated that all the templates have built in mobile websites sites. Just make it once and it looks great across all devices. While you're working, you can toggle the views back and forth and get the design just how you like it. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Pete Peppers to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I do think the ending should involve Harrison, and if we're talking about what might be shocking, then you have to consider him putting Dexter in a situation where he might decide to kill his own son. I don't think the show has gotten to a place where that would feel right. Like, it would sound awful if it was just that, hey, he fits the code so Dexter decides to kill him. But if they were trying to go in that direction, then they could do some things with the character and maybe they could set it up. It's always tricky with Dexter, though, because in most situations, if someone had to kill someone in their own family, that would be a huge deal. You would know that that character was suffering as a result. That really wouldn't be the case here, would it? So possibly shocking but a lot of work would be involved in making it satisfying. I think that also extends to the idea of them working together. There's not much that seems like it would be a satisfying ending in that. In the early videos I made about the show, I got a lot of comments predicting that Dexter would learn that Harrison has a dark passenger and teach him the code. And to that, I always thought, and then what happens? You don't make a limited series and say you had an idea for an ending that was both satisfying and inevitable, and then deliver that what the Dexter story needed all along was to have him partner up with his son and just keep on killing. That's more of a beginning, and it might have people talking about it on the internet, but I don't think that would be in the way that they were hoping for. So if it's not a happy ending, not a team up with his son, not him getting caught and ended with a lethal injection, then he has to get killed, right? Suicide doesn't seem consistent with the character, so someone would have to take him out. There's potentially a long list of people who would want to do that if they knew what he did and where he was. There's definitely people in Iron Lake right now that would like to do that. But again, if you're thinking in terms of shocking, having his son do it would be the way to go. The fact the fact that fans say this feels too predictable is a testament to the logic behind it. Plus, no one else in the town has emerged to be a fan favorite character. There would be no added emotional weight to any of them doing it. But at the same time, if Harrison and Dexter do work out their stuff, then anyone could kill him and that weight would be transferred to Harrison who would really be losing something at that point. I do think that him dying has the most potential. And I did sort of knee-jerk reject the idea of Harrison doing it whenever they first announced that he was going to be back. Which means I'd be fine if Kurt or some other big bad that hasn't been revealed yet did it now that Harrison is becoming a more complete character. At this point, if Dexter died, I would feel bad for Harrison. Or they could create a situation where Dexter has to sacrifice himself for his son. That would probably be nearly as emotionally charged as Harrison doing it, and so I wouldn't be 
be surprised if they went that route. And to be clear, I'd be all right with any of the options that I mentioned if they made it work. I think the only thing that would really bother me would be if they revealed that Harrison was an imposter all along. That just doesn't make sense to me at all, considering that most of the season has been about him and Dexter bonding together, or their inability to do so. I get that some people don't want to see the character die, but in my opinion, one of the main issues the series always had, which was bigger than a change of showrunners or a bad final episode, was that it was really good at building these really tense and exciting seasons, and then it had to try to outdo itself the next time, all while making sure that the main character never got caught, never really got found out, and never died. At some point, it has to come to an end. In Death feels like an end. And what's funny about the way this show works, even if Michael C. Hall's character dies, if they ever wanted to make a different spin-off show, he could always come back in the same way that they brought Deb back for this season. His father was never alive in the timeline of the show, yet he was one of the main recurring characters. His brother came back, his sister came back, and if the next show was about Harrison, then it would make perfect sense for Dexter to come back. I saw a post the other day that said the reason that Molly is there is to tell the real story of the Bay Harbor Butcher after Dexter dies, and that doesn't sound bad. You could have him exposed, you could have that get out there, and that might be a nice end note. That's starting to get away from the subject of the video though, so I think that's a good place to leave it. Let's pick up a conversation like that down in the comments. Let me know what you think about how it will end, how you'd like it to end, and what you think makes the most sense. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.